Hello class, I am your teacher, Mr. Holly, and today we're learning about faces. Okay, let's start with the basic proportions of a human face. Start with a circle for the skull and then add a little triangle or a square for the chin. Divide the face into four equal parts. These are guidelines, by the way. And then add more horizontal lines, dividing the face into eight parts. The top horizontal line is the hairline, the middle horizontal line is the eye line, and the bottom horizontal line is the tip of the nose. Draw another horizontal line between the tip of the nose and the chin, and then you have the line where the mouth sits. Unless your character's pouting, the edges of their mouth will be underneath the pupils of their eyes. The top of the ear is level with the character's eyebrows, and the bottom of the ear is level with the tip of their nose. If you're drawing your character from the side, then the jawline swoops up into their ear. Now let's move on to the specific facial features. Let's start with the eyes. Out of all the facial features, generally eyes can be the most diverse. Let's start with the structure of the eye. Generally, when drawing an eye, you want the upper lid and the lower lid. Now there are various ways you can draw this. Here are a few examples. Also, you have the pupil and iris of the eye. There are tons of different ways to draw these and you can come up with your own if you want but here are a few examples of the pupils of the eyes remember eyes don't even have to have the square or the whites of the eyes a little note on eyelashes eyelashes are usually drawn to show that a character is female you know, stereotypically but you don't always have to do that because also eyelashes are often drawn to show a character is particularly good looking also important to remember are eyebrows Certain styles don't need eyebrows, but if you are adding them in, then it's important to know the kind of character that your character has. Generally, stronger characters have thicker eyebrows, and more sensitive characters will have thinner eyebrows, so that's not necessarily always the case. I mean, I have pretty thick eyebrows, and I'm not strong at all. Remember, not only the eyes show your character's personality, you've got to add in stuff like the shape of their nose. If their nose is broken, then clearly they've been in a lot of fights. If they have a small, cute little button nose, then they're probably a small summer child, whatever that means. I don't know, I keep getting called it by one of my friends. Now let's move on to hair. Now, technically this isn't a facial feature, but it's still an important part of your character, whether they have hair or not. When drawing hair, it's important to know, first of all, where the hair generally is. It's a good idea as guidelines to draw a general shape of where your hair is going to be. When you're actually drawing the hair for proper realsies, it's important to know what kind of hair they have. Do they have fluffy, frizzy, crazy hair? Do they have just ruler straight hair? Because say you're drawing a character with curly hair, obviously you're going to add curls around the sides, but if you're drawing a character with straight hair, you don't need to add as many individual tufts of hair, generally. Also, the way you draw hair changes on whether you're drawing in a more realistic or cartoony style. If you're drawing in a more realistic style, then you're more likely to draw more individual strands of hair, whereas if you're drawing in a more cartoony style, you generally draw the shape of the hair with a few tufts sticking out. And, of course, the hair lends itself to your character's personality as well. For example, a character with messy hair will appear haphazard and may be implied to be clumsy or brilliant, but a bit all over the place, you know, mad professor kind of stuff. I believe that wraps up this class, but before class properly ends, I've got to give you your assignment for this week. This week, I want you to draw a character's face, or many characters' faces. Draw as many faces as you want. They don't actually take that long, unless you're doing, like, super realistic style. As usual, there are some suggestions going up on the left of the screen. If you want to share your drawings, then there is a link to my Tumblr down in the doobly-doo. I think that's everything, so au revoir, happy design, and see you next week!